I wanted to draw your attention to this uh, video from the Hydraulic Press channel. Uh, the people behind that channel happen to have a piece of uh, carbon fiber pipe and they machined a couple of uh, metal end caps, epoxied it to the pipe and then uh, put it into a uh, pressure chamber and uh, pressurized it to uh, see how it fails. They admit, and I tend to agree, that it's probably not a test of the specific circumstances of the Titan submersible failure. However, it is interesting in that it goes a ways to explain the debris that was found and recovered from the site. In their testing, they found that one pressurized carbon fiber cylinder failed and completely separated from the two metal end caps quite cleanly, which appears to be consistent with uh, what we saw with the uh, debris. The inward rushing of the water would probably be sufficient to fracture the 17 bolts that hold the dome to the uh, ring that's epoxied on, so there would be a significant amount of force. So that would explain potentially how those pieces separated. Among the debris, we saw the rear tail portion of the sub, which contained all the electronics. Uh, that equipment was individually sealed into uh, pressure resistant enclosures. Those were not part of the pressure hulls, so that's why they remain relatively intact as a separate piece. The other thing that we saw being brought up were large bags of random pieces. I suspect that those are carbon fiber shards from the pressure hull. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, be notified of future videos. Go check out Hydraulic Press channel to watch their full video. Link down below.